Hi guys, welcome back to the vlog. So, I'm up pretty early, especially for a Saturday. Usually I'm sleep till, I don't know, well after the sun's up. But I wanted to get a head start on today because today we're going to be checking out the Seven Wonders of Casper. Now, the Seven Wonders of Casper is a rather arbitrary list. It's actually 10 to 20 items long. What they are, it's their places, locations, items, objects, something that's interesting or unique here to Casper. We're going to be driving around all day and uh, yeah, we'll start with the Gravity Hill, one of the more interesting locations. So, uh, so what's a Gravity Hill, you may ask? A Gravity Hill is quite interesting, actually. Uh, to put it simply, it's an optical illusion. What it is, is it's a hill with a shallow grade that later turns on into a steeper grade. And because of the landscape, it sort of tricks the brain. It makes it look like that that upward hill is actually going downward. So when you go to a little bit up the hill and come to a stop and put the car in neutral, then you'll begin to roll backwards. But because of how our brain interprets it, it actually looks like we are going backwards uphill. It looks like we're defying gravity. Okay, so we are now pulling up to the area where the gravity hill begins. Uh, I just need to find the right spot. Have to, it's very windy, I don't know if that'll have an effect on us. Okay, it's looking like traffic is clear. Okay, so the car is in neutral now and gonna let go of the brake. And we're going backwards. <laughs> oh wow, we're going pretty fast actually. But, yep, uh, no one's coming. So, oh man, we're going pretty darn fast. <laughs> I mean, wow. And we're getting pelted with sand. And I guess that's it. So yeah, Gravity Hill, done. And this is what the road looks like going up the downward slope. It's actually a lot easier driving up this hill than it was driving down. Here's the next wonder, it is Car in a Box. That up there is a traffic signal that for some reason indicates a car in a box. It lights up every time a car approaches the intersection. Uh, it is not seen anywhere else in Casper and I've yet to see it anywhere else on the road. You were singing my by Miss American Pie Drove my Chevy to the levee but the levee was dry them good old boys were drinking whiskey and rye. So now we're two wonders down and we've reached our third wonder, the Wells Fargo Tower. Now, if you've ever looked at a picture of Casper, you've probably seen this tower. It's very iconic. It's very standout. It's, I think it's the tallest man-made structure here in the city. It's definitely the tallest man-made structure here in downtown. Now, the tower isn't a wonder just because it looks cool. And come on, let's face it, it does. But it's known locally as the Egg Beater. And they call it that because supposedly if you stand right below it in the center and look up and spin around, it looks like you're inside an egg beater. Interesting description, but we're about to find out. And a segment I like to call, I make a, I make a fool out of myself. I'm going to look so stupid doing this, but hey, it's for the wonders. It's for the vlog. Okay, so here we go. Time to make myself look stupid. Oh yeah, it actually kind of does. This is a bank, so I probably am being filmed right now. Oh wow. Okay, that was, that was not smart. By the way, there are some really nice people in this building. Nailed it. 
The fourth wonder of Casper is this spiral staircase. Now is it a wonder you may ask? Well, at the very top, it leads straight into a brick wall. That's right. We got this nice metal staircase right here that leads to absolutely nowhere. Now I'm at the Natrona County Library here in downtown Casper where I'm at the fifth wonder of Casper and that is this echo chamber right here. Now I've heard two strange accounts about this echo chamber. One is that if I yell into it then I hear my voice back really loudly or something like that. The other is if I yell into the echo chamber my friends can hear it from across the parking lot or something like that. But um, I'm not entirely sure what it is but I get to make a fool out of myself again so let's do it. Hello? Oh, wow. Oh, wow, this is really weird. Uh, yeah, it works. I don't know if you can hear it over there, but yeah, it works. Wow, this is really weird. I don't know if the audio can pick this up, but yeah, it is echoing like crazy. It sounds like I'm wearing headphones and a microphone, and yeah, wow, this is weird. All right, so yeah, this is uh, this is the echo chamber at the Natrona County Library, Casper Wonder number five. So now we're at the sixth Wonder of Casper, and it's the sundial right here. Now, a couple of years ago, this place used to be just a barren plot of land, but then an artist came and turned it into something unique. And so now we got this very, very cool looking sundial here. Uh, it tells the time, both in uh, standard time and daylight savings time. So. Uh, yeah, it's a very cool piece. Definitely much rather have that here than a barren piece of land. Okay, so that's six wonders of Casper down, so where's the seventh wonder, you ask? It's up there. It is the lookout at Casper Mountain, and I have zero experience driving up a mountain, so this is going to be one heck of an experience for me. And I don't know if you can hear me right now because it's so windy, but I bet you anything it's going to be ten times windier up there. So, let's go!
going to lie, that was absolutely insane. But it was it's it was so much fun. Uh, it's a great view from up here. It's I'm sure it's so much better in person than it is on camera. But yeah. Sorry, I didn't think I would have to put music in there, but when I said the wind would probably be 10 times worse, uh, more like 20, 25, sure, that's a good number. So yeah, that was a look at uh, Casper Mountain, the seventh wonder of Casper. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did enjoy this video, then go ahead and go check out the interesting, funny, the seven wonders of your town. I guarantee you, you'll have a really fun experience. You'll find something that you won't find anywhere else. It's a very fun, very rewarding experience, and I guarantee you'll have a really good time. Until then, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.